a clean sheet. Back to back away victories. First of all, that must have been a cracking night, and I mean a cracking night for everybody who went down to crew. Um, one of my close mates, Paul, uh, went down. Uh, Sean Middleton obviously went down. Um, that must have been a real unreal atmosphere, and I really wish I'd been there. Um, I have seen all the goals though. Um, obviously, the first goal we did get a good bit of fortune with when one of their players decided to slice. I think his name was Thomas, his surname, decided to pretty much slice the ball into his own net. Um, the two Ross Stewart goals from his perspective, clinical finishes, uh, both of the goals though from Crew's perspective, awful defensively, if I was Crew, I'd be very disappointed with that. Um, the first goal, very very good header and the second one a good finish from a set piece. Uh, and Pritchard's got another assist to his name I believe, obviously Dan Neal assisted Ross Stewart's first and I've said it many times and I'll keep saying it till I'm blue in the face, sign that man to a new contract, simple as that. Um, and the fourth goal. Um, I've seen in full swing, obviously, and it was a really good finish. Good may good run from a good counter-attack, actually, from Sunderland when Crew had a corner. I think it was a corner. Either way, it was a Crew attack. And Sunderland managed to break with pace. It was one touch passing, and we managed to... And Djaku got a really good finish, or Djaku, however you want to pronounce it. Um, but no, really, really good professional um, result. And I've said in the past that these are the sort of games where in the last couple of seasons it, that's the type of result that's cost Sunderland automatic promotion. Um, when we've come up against a side that's in the bottom end of the league and obviously look, you, we know we've got no given, God given right to win these games but for, and occasionally you will drop points, I accept that, but far too often we've done it and I'm hoping this is the season where say Fleetwood away for instance was a one-off result and Portsmouth I suppose technically if you want to look at it that way because I mean they're struggling mind they got humped again but not not talking about them obviously we're talking about Sunderland regardless it's a good result it's a very good result it's one that puts us back into the top two it's one that sort of keeps momentum going and obviously we've we've had the two two victories we've had against Gillingham and Crewe have been two very different type of victories one where we had to grind it out and the other one where we've shown our class Final thoughts, going into Charlton on Saturday, it's a diff I think out of the Gillingham crew and Charlton games, they're the ones who are underperforming the most. I think they've got a good squad, including Craig McKillifrey, who I wanted Sunderland to go for in the summer, actually. Um, but we've just, at home, we've got to back ourselves to hopefully win the game. I love you and leave you there, guys. Comment and subscribe if you wish to, like and on all that sort of stuff, and take care. Love you all lots, stay safe, and back in the top two. Come on.